Six SLA experts question one by one with the multi-awarded journalist Floyd Bagayo. Are you ready for week four? the idea or the beginning of providing input for acquisition? Well, this portion begins with a brief discussion of some of the implications of the input hypothesis with respect to the role and potential of the second language classroom as well as its implications. What is the major portion of providing input acquisition? This is concerned with characterizing what good input is, listing the features that input should have if it is to encourage acquisition. In subsequent chapters, What's the real advantage of the informal environment? in the potential of the second language. This supplies comprehensible input. If, however, we fill our second language classrooms with input that is optimal for acquisition. So what are the advantage of living in a country where the language is, is spoken? Living in a country where the language is spoken can result in all-day second language lessons, as we mentioned earlier. However, So what are some situations where we can acquire second language? The anecdotal cases of people who have picked up second languages via television. Martin Freeman of 1979, for example, Cited the case of German speaker who acquired Dutch via TV. Focusing on the output itself, how can this contribute to language acquisition? Output has a contribution to make the language acquisition, but it is not a direct one. Simply, the more you talk, the more people will talk to you. Actual speaking on the part of the language acquirer will thus affect the quantity of input people direct at you. What are the other features that encourages acquisition? The main task of the teacher is to provide non-linguistic means of encouraging comprehension. In my view, providing extra linguistic support in the form of real Lia and pictures for beginning classes is not a fear. What are the other features that encourages acquisition? Students should not be put into defensive. Teachers should not focus on correcting the errors of students because this can leave a negative impact on their learnings, wherein students will become frightened to learn. Provide tools to help students obtain more inputs. Teachers are not the only source of information, but there are also materials that are reliable and comprehensible that students can use to obtain more inputs. into the focus of this conversational competence. My main point in this section is that conversational competence gives students the tools that they need to manage conversation and is thus an essential part of instruction since it helps to ensure that language acquisition will take place outside of class and after the instructional program ends. This is Debbie 4, providing input for acquisition. So what are you waiting for? Check out the full content of the interview on the Canvas Files, Module 4. Thank you.